Alright, let's watch the fireworks, which is kind of funny because tomorrow is the 4th of July. Yep, I'm doing more than one episode, but of course you might not uh, see this until the day after, because I kind of want to even things out. Now, I could use fire arrows, but I think I'll go ahead and stick with my traditional arrows, except when I have my special Eldar archers fire, because I want them to really hurt my foes terribly. Now, what I want Mr. Elrond here, uh, El Elrond, oh god, sorry, their broad foreheads had me confused. What I want Glorfindel to do is to take out their catapult before they can really do too much damage to me. However, I am a bit worried about these damn wargs, so I do, I do need to watch out for them. Hopefully they won't be able to hit too many of my men. Oh, see? They already 1KO'd one of my catapult. That's really grating, really aggravating. Now, I want my catapults to fire. Man, that's some accurate fire. That is aggravating, I'm telling you. Gah, come on! Why can't my catapult fire like this? I mean, we are elves, and yet we can't figure out how to fire a damn catapult? That is grating, friend. That is very grating. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and keep firing real quick. We're gonna go ahead and send some fire arrows after my foes. Alright, looks like I am winning this engagement against these warg riders. So my men are doing quite well. However, here comes some snuggle stalkers, so I need to watch out for them, which means I need to get out of there. Alright. Looks like my foes are beginning to head right towards me. So I need to go ahead and start charging in real quick. Alright. Sending in my men to take out their wargs and everything else. Let's go ahead and take them out. Yep, we're charging first. We don't want them to charge us. We want to charge them. That's the overall goal. Alright, Glorfindel. You're safe now for the moment. Now go take out this damn catapult. I hate them. All of my hate. All of it. Eat it. Eat my hate. It's delicious. It tastes like bitter chocolate. Yes. Alright. So now my men are engaging in massive charges. They're going for my foes. We're taking out damn wargs. Everything is bloody. I mean, it, this is one of my more chaotic uh, battles here. Definitely. I, I will say this is probably one of my more deadly uh, battles. I am taking out their... Uh-oh. I was taking out their men, but now they are beginning to fire right at me. So I need to watch out for that. They're sending in their reinforcements to fight me. Which means I need to get my archers in order. Which means I need to start moving them over here. Hold on. Let's move them about over here. And have them run. Because we need to hurry up and begin firing at my foes. So let's hurry up and do that. Alright. Come on, catapult. You're firing over here now. Don't be lame. Fire. Yes. You. With the faces. There we go. We've taken out one of their catapults. And Glorfindel's continuing to fight. He's one of the mightiest elf lords from the first stage, and he will not lose. Look at him. He's fighting valiantly, but here comes my enemies, the wargs. They're trying to kill me now. Let's try to take them out as, as, as well. Alright, archers. Fire! Yes, you! Fire! I like this a lot. Your firing makes me rather pleased. <laughs> Keep it up. Alright, so we've taken out these guys here, these orc marauders, Glorfindel is still fighting, he managed to beat back those damn wargs, he took out their catapult as well, I mean he's lost many elven uh, warriors but he's doing quite well, he doesn't give a shit, he's mother effin, Glorfindel, and Glorfindel never gives a shit, ah, which is kinda sad which means I guess he suffers from chronic constipation, tragic, how tragic, alright, Let's take out these Snaga Stalkers now. And help out the rest of my light infantry. Now, normally you shouldn't be having your light infantry form the core of your ranks, but because I know that they were going to do well, or I assume that they were going to do well, I let them do so. Alright, Glorfindel, go after these Snaga Stalkers. We need to break them so that we can keep moving on. Here's my spearmen over here. We need to go ahead and start moving over to th these ranks. C catapults, shut up, go away, I hate you. Actually, I guess I'll let, let you fire at this orc marauders. Looks like they're now even attacking my men here. In front of my face. I thought my swordsmen would have been able to t take them out, but it looks like they're going to be doing their own little work here. Alright, then I have my smiths here, my smithies. They should be making me shiny new rings, but it doesn't matter. I guess they're going to go ahead and do this. They're doing pretty well from what I can see. Yeah, the orcs aren't a match at all. Alright, my archers are under assault, so I, I need to go help them out. 
Yeah, so I mean, my my ranks are all over the, over the place, which is rather bad, but looks like I'm doing pretty well so far. All right, so now we're sending our men to go help out over there. And now, let's see, sending my light swordsmen to go fight more enemies. Okay, let's go ahead and start charging towards those orc fellers over here. <laughs> those orc fellers. Get over here, you fellers. Anyway. My archers are continuing to fire right into their backs as they flee. Yeah, that is showing no mercy, and I enjoy that quite a bit. I approve of your lack of mercy, friends. Alright, let's go help out my smiths before they get their asses torn up, or at least highly damaged. Alright. Glorfindel, what are you doing, friend? We need to take out this orc marauders, but not from the front. Whoa. That sounded like the Horn of Armageddon, good god. But as we can see, ba uh, battles are happening all ov over the place and they're beginning to rout. Alright, we, we need to take out these halberdiers here. Alright, archers, fire at them, thank you. We'll be going after them next. With three of my light infantry units. Alright, swordsmen, you keep fighting and firing. My other archers are still firing as well, so this is a pretty sloppy battle, but it's one of the final battles. And I had to fight two forces, which were rather potent. Alright. We're taking out this goblin band now. With very few horsemen. But we've already torn right through them. They were not able to stay up and fight us. Now let's finish off this goblin trackers and we can go ahead and fight these orc marauders. Ah uh, yeah, here we go. They're breaking. Now we're going to go ahead and charge these orc marauders from the rear. Lower your spears, please. Thank you. There we go. Now, that should scare them off. I will lose a couple of horsemen, probably. But, you know what? That's fine. We're going to be able to beat them back. Alright, so what's going on everywhere else? Yeah, my halberdiers are fighting pretty valiantly. Alright, Archie, stop firing for the moment. I need to make sure that we're all doing well. Okay, let's fire at this orc f uh, fellers there. Oof, you're firing at the rear of my own men. Would you stop it? So now we're fighting these halberdiers, and my smiths have lost quite a few, but they're, they're still fighting on. They're still doing pretty well. Alright, now we, we want to charge these guys from the rear. No, I don't want you to fire at those enemies, damn it. Stop it. <laughs> they get rather aggravating when they don't listen to me. It's like, if you just listened and fire where I wanted you to. Alright, so we've taken out another enemy general, which is fantastic. Alright. Let's have these two units go after my foes. And what a bloody battle. I didn't really have the uh, melee to keep up with the core men. Or, or sorry, the uh, core of my ranks. But as we can see, what a slaughter though. I've lost 29% of my men. They've lost 89%. Now, I could end it all here. But I want to go ahead and take out these halberdiers. Make sure that I kill as many of them as I can. So that battle was a bit di uh, different than most of my battles. I actually lost a lot more men than I thought that I would lose. That was really bloody. That, that was a terrible, terrible battle. And I, I don't think I was able to take out the enemy general, who's right over here. Let's see. I have my archers. Oh, will they be able to hit him? I don't think so. No, no they're pretty far out, but let's see if they can fire at him. Come on. Come on, Glorfindel. Hit him. Hit him now. You must. For the greater good, friend. That's that's a faction heir, so we definitely need to take him out. All right, archers, you can stop firing now. Thank you. Man, what a bloody battle! I mean, just let's survey the carnage here. My battles uh, lately have not been small and easy. They've all been bloody and terrible. Now, thankfully, Glorfindel was able to fight against undeniable, impossible odds, and he won. I mean, that was spectacular. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Looks like they might be able to make it out of here. Come on. Come on, he's right here. We needed to take him out. Sound the horn. Glorfindel, take him. Take him now. No, 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 here, here. Yes, he's right here. We just need to capture him and or kill him, but I know that when he's fleeing or routing, he's gonna be captured. Bam! Come on, hit him again. Bang, bang, on his bald head. Excellent. Oh, nope, he's still here. Well, maybe these masses of men... Oh, is he gonna dodge my men? I hope not. And he's trapped. He's all like... Damn it. 
And he's gone. All right, we've caught him. Is that is that him? Yes, Lord Radrat. Okay. Heroic victory. I fought over against over four thousand men, and they have two hundred eighty-eight men left. I lost four hundred seventeen men. I, I I lost quite a few, but as we can see here, almost every single one of my units killed hundreds. They did very well, except for my catapult. Screw you, catapult! Alright, there's the faction there. Let's go ahead and uh, bring some of them, them off. And of course, they won't be able to pay for it. Now, I could sack this place, but I'll go ahead and occupy it. Another heroic victory. That's two in a row. Now, Cardinduum is mine. And I own another land or settlement or castle from the Orcs of Gundabad. Ah, uh, you look like. Hmm, yes, let me touch your children. <laughs> I don't like how he looks. You're not marrying my daughter, you're not touching my children. Screw off. Man, I hope I don't have a daughter. Why? Not because I wouldn't love her, just because I don't want I don't want to have to deal with build, men, boys, young horny boys. I know how you young men are. How I might be, I don't know. It's not good. I don't want to deal with that. I will definitely be the shotgun parent or at least I'll be a lot more uh, subtle. I don't know cuz I know what young men are after. I know Honorable intentions, my ass. All right, just kidding. I, I have honorable intentions. I'm just. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep going on. I'm a strapping young man. What? <laughs> All right, so uh, we have two more turns, and then we can fight at Gundabad. Let's see. Latash is doing okay. I don't even know what I'm talking. Uh, I'm talking about right now. It's late. All right, let's keep going on. So I've taken quite a few settlements these last few turns. I've been able to really uh, stampede over the orcs of of uh, Gundabad. So I've taken out the Orcs of Moria and then I've taken out oh I still have Moria too that's nice good okay so I've taken out Iriador and I've taken out the Orcs of Moria and now I'm taking out the Orcs of Gundabad let's go ahead and take a quick look at the whole screen looks like they only have Gundabad left and then there's the Sylvan Elves who I could fight potentially but I do not know if I'm going to yet um, that would be a really dirty thing for me to do oh Dorkodur you're still here I guess the Sylvan Elves weren't able to beat you back now would I want to kill the Sylvan Elves but if I do that that'll provide me a very excellent base to go invade the rest of Middle Earth because you need I believe you need a forest and things like that to be able to produce most of the elven troops. And then there's Dell, which is doing quite fine. Yeah, they are doing quite well. They were able to put. I mean, I mean, like they've met up to the very borders of of Mordor. And then there's the dwarves who. Uh, is that guy still still here? Oh, he's still trapped here. He's like, oh, damn it! Oh, Freren, here. He spent years trying to get past. Kib Kibble Doom. He's just waiting for the day that we all go to war, but uh, he won't live that one. Then there's Gondor, who I gave a lot of money to, and it looks like they're slowly being able to beat him back. I don't know what's really going on here. Oh wow! Theoden is here. He's a faction heir. Interesting. All right. Guess his uh, father didn't die yet. Minas Tirith is still under the control of um, Mordor. But they have an army right here. Oh, no, that's just one general. Never mind. thought they had an army. Yeah, it's a very interesting happening here. I mean, Gondor has a bunch of armies, and they could take it back, but it doesn't look like they're able to. What? Oh, what the hell? They lost one of their towns here. That's interesting. wonder how, how that happened. All right, so, like, that's the whole map so far. L looks like Good owns most of the map, then. I mean, like, Evil it has this part here, then it has Mordor, then it has Rune. I've defeated two powers, well, two evil powers, well, Gundabad will be defeated in like one or two turns, and I've taken out Iriador, so I've established a mighty massive kingdom. I mean, look at how large my kingdom is. It spreads from the sea all the way to the borders of Rohan, and even to the freaking misty mountains man that's crazy right oh well so that's what's going on right now so I'm gonna have to think about it. I might end up killing my Sylvan 
uh, brethren, which would be kind of bad. I wonder how that would go. It would be some of the bloodiest battles that you would ever see. Why? They have good archers too. That would be horrendous. But going through their towns would be rather quick. I'm going to have to think about that. Alright, let's combine my troops and leave some of my light elven troops here. Oh, I need to leave some more. Looks like they're not very happy. Oh boy. They're really not happy. Alright, Smiths. I, okay, I, I need to leave more. Oh boy, I'm going to have to wait at least one turn or something. I don't know. That's pretty vicious. Right, looks like I need to leave some more men. Uh, leave you. Come on. Maybe it'll do with one more. 70%. Alright, let's give them one turn then, and we'll just see. Alright, so in two turns, I gotta go fight. Let's see. The last battle against the orcs of Gundabad, which should be in the next episode. And I, and I, I think that will that will be a suitable epic conclusion to my affairs in this part of Middle Earth. And then I have to make the choice of whether I go kill the Sylvan Elves or I go directly after the Dwarves. Now, I would like to kill the Dwarves just because fuck them. I love Dwarves, but as long as I'm an Elf, I will fucking kill every Dwarf that there is. Except for the one that's uh, trapped because I'm an evil man and I find that hilarious. So... Construction report, recruitment report, one more turn to go. Here's a sylvan army, they have some woodland uh, warriors there, and some sylvan horse archers as well. Let's keep moving on though, I need to use my spies, I don't want to have to use Toggle, uh, Fog of War to do much. Let's see, there's a general, so if I go attack them, I'm going to need to retake everything in the Misty Mountains, then I have to send an army to go take out their bases here because they have very large cities down here let's see there's a sylvan a sylvan city i believe i retook these places for them too here is Celeborn. doesn't uh, look like he's really left his city down here uh, okay let me go ahead and move my spies a bit make sure that they're all in the proper locations Alright, so we got another spy down here, and I need to move them up through here. Is this owned by- yes, that, that is also owned by Rohan. I'll take it at some point, which which means I should be able to get some uh, ints, which would be really nice. I would love to have some ints in my forces. Uh, oh wow, I have a lot of generals down here. Let's see. I'm gonna start sending Elro here to Imladris. Actually, I need to send quite a few. Yes, my lord. I'll send all of them except for the creepy looking guy. And I'll send you all to M. Ladris to start picking up your new armies or new tiny for uh, uh, forces. Whatever I feel like giving them. I have no clue. There's a general in that town. I'll just keep him there. Yeah, let let's go ahead and just look at what I have right now. Start putting together new armies. There's my ballista from who knows when back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot, I also defeated Isengard. So Isengard, Iriador, Moria, and the Orcs of Gundabad. So I've actually taken out four. Four enemy factions. Dead. Excellent. Recruit some more men down there. Okay, let's recruit some more soldiers down here. Noratirano warriors, archers. Recruit them all. Alright, Jim Ladgers. Looks like. Elrond is not quite done yet. I need to let him have his armies keep rebuilding. And then I, I need to think about what I'm going to do with, you know, the Sylvan Elves. Because I really don't know yet. Um, I might have to kill them. Uh, because I want to. Well, I do want to. But not because I want to. But because I need their lands. I need everything from them. I need to take their everything. Alright, but I'm going to get more spies because I want to have this place saturated with spies. That way, I can keep track of everything that they have. Okay, so let's go ahead, go ahead and end this turn and then it should be time for the final battle, at least very soon. Ah, Gundabad, I'm about to take you. Faction heir, Lord Gazrat, then Chieftain Lughorn the Honest. <laughs> A good orc chieftain. Now I've heard everything. Alright, so let's go ahead and end this turn. 
which will be the end of this episode and then you guys can of course wait until the next one to see the epic conclusion to my conflict with the orcs of Gundabad and how they will meet their damned end. I will make sure it's painful. I will make sure to plo to proliferate them with arrows. I will turn them into literal pincushions and it will be glorious. Alright guys, well, this is the end of episode, I believe, 27, 28. I have no clue. I'm losing track. There's quite a few. Anyway, I will see you guys later.